Hi, it's Mike Mikowski again. We're going to uh, start another sequence of uh, videos here on a new build. Um, let's see how far we get with this. I don't know what, what my schedule is going to be for the next few weeks, but I broke down and we're going to start something. So project I picked is a uh, Apollo it's a command service module from Real Space Models, 48 scale, largely because I don't have one. Um, I've got the old... I guess it's the Ravel kit with the lunar module and the adapter that I built uh, Christmas of 1968. Yes, a long time ago. Uh, and, you know, I some time ago built a nice lunar module. And I've got 48 scale Mercury and Gemini now, but I don't have an Apollo CSM. And uh, so this is the most accurate kit available. So let's take a look at it. Um, <clears throat> comes with some nice... It's a resin kit. So you got a full can here for the service module. A nice engine nozzle. Nice uh, back panel. Uh, front panel. One piece capsule. Hollow. And a uh, bunch of rocket parts. Oh, and a whole bunch of uh, interior parts. I start looking at this and you know, you got an interior kind of goes together with a uh, little control panel, three little astronauts, which are kind of eh. Um, the nice thing is it got these seats, which are pretty accurate, and some struts to attach them. Uh, but what I've decided to do is not use any of this. Um, this is going to be sitting on a shelf. And uh, tiny little windows, can't see the interior anyway. So what I'm going to do is put all the interior stuff aside and maybe save that for some later build if I can find an old Ravel capsule and just kind of do an open capsule cutaway in this scale and save those parts for that. Uh, but for this, you can't see it, so I'm not going to bother. So that means all those parts are not used. Um, focusing on kind of putting this together and just working on the outside and it's looking nice sitting. So, um, this is a little, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's not really round, but once you put the uh, inside in and the back piece, that'll round it up. What I, um, I also noticed the uh, capsule wasn't quite round, but I just dumped it in some near boiling water and um, place it on here. You can kind of see it's not quite a good fit, but you force it down, and once you get the uh, inside part in, it'll round it up. So really, it's a it's a pretty quick start to get this part going. I do notice that you know you can look and kind of see that he just put some um, uh, outer shell surface detail, and and the. Uh, the, the, the original is still kind of evident here, and it's not a perfectly round cylinder, but it's close enough. And the uh, other odd thing, which is going to be interesting to work with, I hope I don't have to take all this off. I don't think I do. But this fits in the back here with some trouble I'll have to do a little cleanup. And um, that's going to have to be filled and sanded with some putty. But, you know, overall, this 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 whole assembly will go together pretty quickly and then it's uh, we got a lot of little fiddly parts with thrusters and some tiny little tiny tiny little um eva handles which will be fun even cutting them out of there may have to scratch for them and then this um it's lots of painting so uh just getting started on this see how far we can get with it um and uh we'll follow along and let you know so uh, the start will be to put the engine bill on last, paint the assemble this quickly, paint this some white. Oh, he's got photo etch for the radiator panels, which is nice. And a nice set of Rick Sternbach uh, decals, which is great. Um, so we'll get this service module first. And then what I'll do is that's going to be painted. I'm going to put... Just foil, I'm not gonna do the stripes. I'll get some bare metal foil for that like I did on the um, 70 second scale kit from Dragon that I did with the lunar module a couple months back. 
and I was just more than happy with that. And even at this scale, I'm not going to try to do those stripes. It's just too much trouble. And again, I just want to do it to have it sitting on the shelf. Um, like they say, better finished than perfect. So it's a good model to follow. So stay tuned. Come back in a few days and we'll see how we got, how far we got on this project. Thanks very much.